bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm going to address you just a few minutes. But we are here now. Amen. If I've been in the ministry for almost 20 years now, what about you? Yes. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because many, many a times when people yes. look at me, they feel like I'm very young. They just say, this boy. <laughs> look, look here, I've got a white beard coming up. <laughs> been serving God for a very long time. Amen. So, can I wait? Do we have all people? Oh. So we're going to be starting. Normally I address people before we start. Uh, we had a lot of work in, uh, in New York. You know, uh, we don't bless people. Uh, we don't bless people. There's a man called Jesus. Yes. That will bless you today. Yes. Yes. If your pastor is calling us magicians, tell him that the magicians are here. Yes. You're gonna see more magic. Yes. The magic of Jesus. Yes. We are prayerful people. Yes. We are not magicians. Yes. If your pastor is eating too much, don't blame us. <laughs> blame him. That is eating a lot of burgers, uh, a lot of breakfast. And ask him, he has been with us these few days. Very difficult for us to eat. Hey. Ask him. Hey, we tried. <laughs> so you can see that. Uh, there are people who fear God Amen. because of our fear for Jesus. Amen. I, I always tell this man all the time that if you want to be different, don't put your heart on the material things. Amen. This one. That time the church was so small, he was struggling. I told him, leave people, leave money. Allow Jesus to be part of your heart. Amen. Let him be your friend. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you a story before we start. One time I called him and he said uh, he couldn't answer my phone. Uh, a few minutes uh, he called me back and he, I said to him, ah, you're not answering my call because you're driving an Uber. <laughs> he said, yes, I didn't want to tell you that. I said to him, from today, leave that Uber. Yes. Go and suffer for Jesus. Amen. He didn't understand that. Because, you know, when there's no one supporting you, number one. Amen. And many people, they think to be a pastor is a joke. Many think it's a career, it's a job. Where are these people coming from? It's like more people are coming. Yes. <laughs> hmm? Get me water. This, why are these people coming? <laughs> <laughs> so I told him when the church started in Dallas, I told him, Leave Uber. I don't want you to do any work. I want you, if there's no food in the fridge, go and pray. Amen. Can you hear how difficult that is? Yes. I told him, If there's no food in the fridge, go and pray. Yes. One time he sent me a message, he said, hey, things are very difficult. I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Many people are saying, why African pastors are rich? Mm. Why are we rich? Can I tell you? Yes. We have time with God. Amen. Amen. And even if when God bless us, we don't care. Amen. Do, do, do we look like uh, we are people of pride? You know why? Because when Jesus blesses you, that blessing is to, yes. is to encourage you mm -hmm. that if you are praying for two hours, make it three. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that the minute you are blessed, mm -hmm. that blessing 
takes over your life. Amen. You start to worship a blessing. Amen. If God gives you a Range Rover, before your cousins can enter there, you say, please, make sure you are clean. Make sure you are clean. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I've experienced. So now, we're going to be seeing you. But the last thing I want to tell you, no more talk. No more talk. If you've got a wife, that wife, starting from this minute, is not your friend. You're going to start praying. You hear that? I'm telling you. Why the day you die when a coffin is going down? Mm. Why, why is someone who loves you too much they don't enter? Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> <laughs> why? Can you see? Salvation, salvation is for you alone. Yeah, yeah, amen. 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 You must love your wife though. You must love your wife. Yes. Yes. You, know yes. you must love them. Yes. But what I'm trying to say is that there must never be anybody that must mm. distract you. Yes. You know, because sometimes you're married to someone who say, "Don't pray too much." You're praying too much. No, you, you must stand together. You must stand together in the things of God. Yes. So, but at this moment, I want you people to be very serious. When you are coming here, when you leave this place, uh, if you're a cat, you'll be a lion. Amen.